Welcome to the Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles YouTuber tier list in which you rank all the Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles YouTubers in a tier list from S to F. I'm going to be ranking these YouTubers based on creativity, quality and consistency. Now before I even get into this tier list, I want to make something very clear. Number one, this is my opinion. So do not catch hard feelings. Number two, do not change your content based off this one video alone because like I said, I don't speak for your audience. I just speak for myself as one person. Number three, I'm ranking Demon Slayer YouTubers with one thousand subscribers or above so if you don't have one thousand subscribers on your channel you're not on this tier list i'm very sorry that's how it, it gets like that <laughs> now, if you like the sound of this leave a like on the video and enjoy blazing s quality 10 out of 10 to put it simple and short no one edits like blazing blaze spitting you know what how about i spit something else to y'all blazing has one of the best editing in fact the best editor in the whole demon slayer game youtuber community i don't care what you say bro this man the way he edits his videos no it is no comparison it's no comparison ah! obviously his creativity is absolutely top notch as well his title game is good Pick Nobu mod. I would want to click on that. The thumbnail game is good as well. He knows how to get a viewer to click on his video. Easy. You know what I'm saying? Thumbnail game is absolutely fantastic. Consistency is probably his weak point though, because obviously he uploads one video every three days or something. But that's even not that bad, considering for a guy who edits a lot. So consistency, I'll give him a six out of ten. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I'll put him in Esther, because that's that's pretty much a you know what I'm saying a weakness that can be justified, to be honest. But yeah, man, Blazing, keep up the good work if you watch this video. Try a jaunty solid beating obviously quality 7 out of 10 the reason is because i like a bit of editing in the videos that i watch it's not editing in his videos like barely if i'm being honest but obviously like i said that probably works for him he deliberately does not put edits in his videos and that works for him and i feel like that works for his style and he needs to stay like that what i love about john t's videos is about his chill vibes chill vibes doesn't need over the top editing but he has chill vibes he's being himself and he has like this lofty chill vibes in his like john t is with himself and he always shares his, his experience and his strategies within a ranked gameplay because like aj makes ranked gameplay videos in terms of the demon slayer game every single time his video and his commentary is just it's just not sugar cold it's not over the top it's just chill and him just being aj and it being himself okay. 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 i f with that you thought you thought i'm saying uh consistency it needs a little bit of improvement aj can upload every single day if he really wanted to but maybe because of, he's busy with other stuff he can't upload every single day and that's completely fine but yeah, I'm just saying it how I see it. AJ's consistency is a 6 out of 10. And the creativity is 7 out of 10. Again, with the quality because his titles are S tier. <laughs> AJ has the most wildest Demon Slayer game ranked gameplay titles I've ever seen. Nobody can title their ranked gameplay better than Ajante, bro. My man says, Tanjo keeps me, <laughs> Tanjo keeps me wet at night. <laughs> That is too funny though. Oh my days. Top notch titles. I feel like his titles alone probably compliments him having no thumbnails in his Demon Slayer videos as of now. <laughs> and even if he has no thumbnails in videos, like I said, that's probably his style. So AJ, if you're watching this, keep up the good work, my brother. Avatar Yaya. Eight. Avatar Yaya has so much variety in his content, like in, in terms of his Demon Slayer content, he makes short videos that are just, I don't even know, man. It's just something that no one has done in the Demon Slayer game YouTube community. And like he does guides. I'm satisfied with the guys. Like I have good value when he makes the guides and he makes discussion videos. There's a lot of variety. So Avatar Yaya creativity, I'll give him an 8 out of 10 because of the variety in his content it is absolutely top notch with variety with discussions everybody agrees with his discussions with his tailors everybody is satisfied with his value basically his tutorials and his guides and his obviously entertainment videos which is basically demon slay hino coming chronicles part q1 chip <laughs> that's the thing like who does that who does a challenge no one did a challenge in the demon slayer game youtube community if i'm mistaken but i might be wrong and consistency i'll give avatar yaya a 7 out of 10 but yeah 
Avatar Yaya is a solid YouTuber, very creative. He can satisfy a viewer and he has quality in his videos. So Avatar Yaya solid A, definitely. Um, keep up the good work, Avatar Yaya, if you're watching this video. Groku S. Quality Groku 10 out of 10. Groku's editing is top notch. Highly well edited video to the viewer's satisfaction. Like Groku knows how to satisfy a viewer to the no matter Demon Slayer, any game, he, he can satisfy it. Consistency, 9 out of 10. Reviews, informative. Tips, informative. Tearless, informative. Any video that Glocku makes, informative. The way he layouts his videos inside the video. Thumbnail game, title game, excellent. Glocku was obvious. You guys knew that Glocku would be S tier, bro. Both Khan, C tier. I mean, for quality, quality, I'll give him a 6 out of 10 because i'm quite satisfied for him giving me the the news of obviously all the leaks but like i said that's just minor there's not too much over the top creativity in it and it's not something that i would enjoy you're just giving me leaks that i can easily go on twitter and stuff like that i'm satisfied but i'm not so out of the top like omg this video was so good it's just like oh i watched this video and oh i move on you know what i'm saying no emotional impact consistency i'll give him a 6 out of 10 because he can be consistent but as of right now he hasn't even uploaded a video in four days so 6 out of 10 consistency creativity i'll give him a 2 out of 10 draco wolf 80 consistency draco wolf gets an 8 out of 10 draco wolf can be very consistent obviously for creativity and i'm talking about titles thumbnails intrigue within the titles and thumbnails and the topic overall draco also gets an a out of 10. the why the reason why i say that and i'm just saying with draco's latest short videos his short videos are actually very smart there's an actual strategy of why he gets a lot of click through it and a lot of you know what i'm saying views because like i said draco wolf is doing mods i meaning for example mods is just something that i'll be very interested in and plus he added two of new combos so that's like the cherry on top because everybody wants a bit of combos everybody wants to see 100 percent combos so it will make me so interested it gives an element of strong intrigueness and interest so in terms of creativity i'll give him an a out of 10. so the shorts probably carry the creativity thing draco wolf only weakness is quality and yeah he can definitely improve on that so like i said draco just do what you want to do if you know how you want to improve your videos improve your videos how you want to improve your videos don't improve your videos based on this video please because i'm just speaking with myself like i said in the beginning yeah dark skin gaming solid 80. quality I'll give dark skin a 8 out of 10 because there's a lot of variety in his content. The fact that he stays with Zenitsu and like Zenitsu is the prime of his Demon Slayer content, that's very different because normally content creators go with every single character and they don't have like a prime type of character that they focus on in their channel. But Darkskin Gaming is different, like he focuses on Zenitsu high level gameplay, competitive gameplay with actual pro Demon Slayer players. So the fact that there's an element of just prime character in his channel and there's an element of this high level gameplay in which I'm, I'm even satisfied in terms of gameplay because I can learn with high level gameplay. That is excellent. And obviously um, Darkskin Gaming's guides are extremely informative, it gives us combos, tech and guides in which I don't know about. So very very good that guide very informative videos the way he talks he speaks clear and his thumbnail game is very good consistency 9 out of 10 in terms of creativity in terms of thumbnails titles and topic that's his weakest point 6 out of 10 obviously i'm not interested for example blackhead zenitsu versus tongue demon it's a mod video but it had so much potential to be designed to be extremely clickable like like i'll be forced to click on that video but nah he hasn't designed it to click on that video because like mod videos have so much potential to be extremely clickable as long as the content creator designed it to make it clickable like for example draco wolf just made it clickable like if i see it on my timeline i would definitely click on that video but obviously in terms of titles and topic nah it's a 6 out of 10 that's pretty much it i'm not gonna give it s s s me personally but he's very close to s that's his only weakest point yet yeah. Dark Skin Gaming is a complete creator. Like, check out Dark Skin. Very good content. Very good content creator. And yeah. Index B. 
now the quality of index is a solid seven because even though index does news and theories and updates and discussions like the way he layouts his news and discussions is quite different compared to the ones that I, I ranked before like they don't just tell you just the news and then just move on they actually tell you to and give the reaction and give a unique layout into the discussion or the news that's what index does with his content it's straight to the point and gives his fair and not sugar-coated reaction to it which i like his creativity in terms of his title and thumbnails he has a very good title game he has a very consistent title and thumbnail style which is very good i like it like the way he talks is like he's very smart and i love that type of vibe the only thing that holds index back in him being in a for a news and discussion channel is his consistency his consistency is very poor like i'll have to give his consistency a three out of ten like and yeah uh, maybe he's because he's busy with other stuff but yeah i'm just seeing seeing it how i see it consistency is very Cool. and but yeah that's what i have to say about index he's an all-around very great youtuber and i really enjoy index content like even though he does news and discussions but uh yeah i will put index in the b tier high b tier fly kunai is a high c fly kunai most of his videos are like showcases of boss battles in terms of quality that's not quality like they're just showcasing something that's not quality that's not creativity you know what i'm saying and yeah consistency i can give him a solid six out of ten he's fairly consistent in terms of quality i'll just give him a, a six out of ten it would have been four but because i've seen this video well edited video so fly kunai has so much potential to make his videos have so much high quality that's if he wants to but as we're looking at it right now it's a six and it's five titles on thumbnails I'm not a fan of it yeah i feel like it has potential but you know what i'm saying because he's in his early stages you know i'm saying he will get there basically but that's in my personal opinion maybe that probably works for him and that's how he wants to make his content so please do not change your content based on it based on this video game break of god ct the only reason why i put game break of god in ct is because he's basically a streamer like i only enjoy game break of god because of his streams not his videos like i'm just being real and and with his videos he is, is i but if this was a streamer tailors game break of god would be at the s so well, i feel like his streams are probably the peak of his entertainment yeah in my opinion i just i just like game break of god streams that's it you know daddy Berto, aka the papi chulo aka papa Berto. <laughs> low a so quality seven out of ten commentary is one of my favorites if i want to watch a ranked video i would go to papa berto just because he does a mix of both demon slayer and jump force it kind of destroys the consistency for demon slayer content and because this is a demon slayer game youtuber tailors that's what it's about consistency and quality for berto is a seven out of ten and obviously creativity in terms of titles thumbnails and video topics Naruto's thumbnails are absolutely fantastic i love the japanese element it's, it gives you something that no one has done before it gives you an element of originality something from goku if you if you know see, my heart will never waver like you know what i'm saying no one puts that in their pet in their thumbnails you know what i'm saying and he knows how to title his videos if, if he really wanted to you know what I'm saying? very intriguing titles of thumbnails so yeah papa Bell is an all-round great content creator he knows exactly what he's doing oh so, yeah papa Bell solid a tier content creator only his weakness is a lack of variety to be honest a lot of people will hate me for doing this but i'm sorry i have to do it i'm just being completely honest with this tier list senju in japan a tier the fact that he's not on s is because he is a news prediction and discussion channel that kind of lowers it in my eyes i watch all his videos pretty much to the end pretty much like look all of them read the reason why is because his quality is a solid 7 out of 10 because his videos are nice straight to the point when senju japan makes a demon slay game update video here it's like you're excited to watch it because he makes wild predictions and you just know when he makes a prediction or a claim you know he's gonna get it correct that's why it's like you're mentally programmed to clicking on his demon slay game update speaking of demon slay game update senju in japan literally started a cult with this quote-unquote demon slay game update with his titles and i'm saying it just works like it's fit senju in japan type of style in terms of news even though he keeps titling all his videos demon slay game update demon slay game update it works because he can generally call it an update because he makes his wild prediction and it always gets correct so technically it's an update and second of all 
it's like the way Sanjay Japan commentates this video is like to send you out and you know what i'm saying whip up the yakuza bro yeah you you, you already know you already know i'm, I'm the go out here bro you know what i'm saying I, I love his commentary as well i love his commentary and also he he's very fairly good at editing um creativity with the thumbnails um thumbnails is top notch i love a lot of content creators will hate me for doing this but i really don't care i'm just i'm just gonna keep it about i'm not gonna ask like uh, if i don't see like a demon slayer game update from Senju in japan it's not like i'm not gonna click on it i'm definitely gonna click on that video and a lot of content create even you will click on that video Sanju in japan has literally programmed up with his wild ass predictions and with his commentary and with his good informative reactions all of that with that we just program to click on his demon slay game update videos so no matter if it's a news and discussion channel it's probably if not the best news and discussion channel if i'm being real but nah 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 probably him he's probably part of index i don't even know bro but Sanju in japan in my opinion whether you like him or him he's an all-round good youtuber shikis clouds hey Chica's Clouds, I enjoy his content very much. Lovely variety in his content, quality, creativity, quality 8 out of 10. I love his commentary. His commentary is absolutely amazing. And I just love his discussion videos as well. Like Chica's Clouds is genuinely underrated. The only thing that he has his weaknesses is his hiatuses. I'm just going to rate his Demon Slayer content. Demon Slayer content is absolutely amazing. Chica's Clouds, his commentary is it's not as powerful, but it's very close to very good as Papa. His creativity is definitely going though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who does that? Who layouts their thumbnail and titles with so like it's so smart. It it brings a sense of intrigueness and originality within his topic thumbnails and titles. His creativity easy eight out of ten. Consistency seven out of ten. Because I ain't gonna ignore that the Shika Scout hiatus. Even so, he's fairly consistent as of right now. You mind what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, Shika Scout is a solid A in my opinion. Overall, I just enjoy his content in my yeah. Wave Ray two times. A Wave Ray is an all round complete high variety of content. Quality seven out of ten. You know what I'm saying? Like he had the most energy with his videos, in my opinion. Like energy is top notch energy, I can't lie. Obviously, his consistency is a solid 8 out of 10. And he has a consistent thumbnail style with, with recurring within his content. I love his variety. Like, he uploads news, gameplay, and he adds an element of entertainment within his gameplay as well. He even adds collabs, like collabs. You know what I'm saying? Like, like exposing. Yeah, man. I was trying to get into that myself, mate. So, I really love that type of element for, for creativity, titles, thumbnails, and, uh, and topics. I'll give him a solid 7 out of 10 as well so we were all around 18 in my opinion so yeah in my opinion yeah that's pretty much it we were overall 100% a great content creator to watch stray the dog lover isn't he a now the reason why i put stray in a is because he has such a positive type of vibe in his videos there's a consistent thumbnail style recurring within his content meaning i love how he titles his thumbnails and i love how he titles his text in his thumbnails and the text on his titles so it's just an element of both like a bo both text just urge you to click on the video which is quite smart you know what i'm saying so yeah it gives a, a element of interest and intrigue so in terms of creativity i'll give straight a solid six out of ten because of the lack of variety i mean he's just he's basically on rank just trying to have fun but he also has short videos so yeah rather seven out of ten now he has short videos in which is a very nice watch as well his experiences within the rank in within the rank gameplay is actually so funny like when when someone cheeses him is fun and his reaction is too funny his commentary very positive and yeah he's an all-around very cool guy you know what i'm saying consistency i'll give him a nine out of ten he's very consistent for quality i'll give him a seven out of ten because he tries and he's aware of his obviously trying to not get people to click off his videos in like the first two minutes i love to experience his positive type of vibe within his rank videos and it's just commentary it's just like an experience so yeah it just it, it's very all around great content creator to check him out Yo, aka the bills guy the straw hat ronin hey his discussion videos are not beaten bro no one can beat discussion videos then yoku bro like his opinions is just s tier opinions like i just enjoy listening to his opinions especially before when the demon slayer game came out like people would want to listen to yoku's opinions and i love his views and the way he looks at things it's very good very 
valid you know what i'm saying it's just valid but it's a different way of viewing and it's a valid way at the same time like yoko has two different elements you just want to listen to his discussion videos because the way he conducts his discussions is just no other like nobody discusses and gives opinions like a yoku like this man is genuine with his opinions like he will keep it raw <laughs> and in the most authentic way possible in terms of his opinions like in my opinion his opinions and the way he discusses is very you know what i'm saying he's always right <laughs> The straw hat running. What are you saying, bro? I say that and say that and say that, and that's pretty much it. And that, yeah. With Yoku, easily an A tier. Very good content creator. You know what I'm saying? He slept on, I can't lie to you. Yeah, so, anyways, for quality for Yoku, I'll give him a, a solid 7. For consistency for Yoku, I'll give him a solid 8. Yoku's quite consistent. For creativity, thumbnails, titles, I'll give him a solid 7 out of 10. All round, great content creator for Yoku. The Soldier Run! My boy, B tier. Now, the thing about soldier that i love the most is this man's graphic design this man's thumbnail is absolutely amazing this man knows how to make thumbnails trust me so soldiers uh consistency is a solid seven out of ten his creativity the, i feel like the thumbnail carries with terms of thumbnail styles and topic so i'll give him a solid six out of ten for that his quality i'll give a six out of ten so he's a solid b i b in my opinion i just love how you know when soldier be licking his lips every single time he's trying to take a game seriously <laughs> Traitor A. The reason why I put Traitor in A is because he has good variety. He can make a long video, he can make a short video. He has a consistent thumbnail style recurring in his videos. Now, he's all about combos, but the way he makes content on his combos is actually quite amazing. He makes 100% combos, and not only he just showcases them, he makes sure that he puts inputs in the 100% combo so that you can actually get value watching traitors videos because he puts inputs as well he gives a guide on how to make the 100% combos which is very helpful which is an instant increase of quality his gameplay videos are very different i love how he edits it <laughs> you know what i'm saying i, I love it he gives, he gives the movie type of clips in his gameplay type of videos you know what i'm saying timeout match he, he has like type of technical type of videos i like it i like traitor he's a very good content creator store he has competitive elements in his content love it that's what i love personally i love competitive content love you know what i'm saying and the way he presents his competitive content is is one of my favorites so that's why I mentioned Traitor in terms of competitive elements in this content. Now, consistency. Traitor is an easy 10 out of 10. Traitor is very consistent. Obviously, quality is um, 7 out of 10. And creativity is obviously 7 out of 10. So, Traitor is probably like a very high A. Because he's nearly to S because obviously he's a very all round, very good content, and you should definitely check him out. I also love his accent. I think he's Romanian or Hungarian. Is he from Hungary or Romania? Traitor, if you're watching this video, just confirm in it. <laughs> but like, yeah, I love Traitor's accent. Uh, yeah, I love how he talks and I love his competitive gameplay. I love how he plays in the Missile Hero Coming Chronicles. So, yeah, Traitor is the all round great content creator, and you should definitely check Traitor out. Tag the legend, high B. Now, the reason why I put Tag the Legend in high B. Tag the Legend made Demon Slayer game update videos and Demon Slayer game guide videos. You know what I'm saying? Just obviously two types of content. With the guys, I'm not a fan of it because like I said, with the guys is more for beginners. I'm not a beginner in the game, so I tend not to watch the guides. So the only thing I can watch in Tag's videos is the Demon Slayer game updates. The Demon Slayer game update type of thing is quite repeated all over in the, in the news channels in Demon Slayer game. Because originally, Senju Japan formed the whole Called Demon Slay game update because it worked a lot. A lot of content creators, for example, T use their quote unquote Demon Slay game update. But so that's why I'm saying for creativity, I have to give him a five out of ten. Just because of the fact the titles I'm not a fan of, only because of the fact that it has quote unquote Demon Slay game update. But um with the thumbnails, the thumbnails is top tier. I love the thumbnails. Top the thumbnails are actually very good. And uh I love Tag's intros. Intr the intros are very nice. I love how he like some motions the camera into his face a little bit. That's very neat. Like it, it kind of makes it big difference in terms of his uniqueness of his intros so yeah I, I love that element and obviously his consistency i'll give him a good 7 out of 10 obviously a news come up or an update comes out or prediction what to make he's not gonna upload until he makes a demon slay guide or demon slay game update if i'm be, as, as i can see i see how i see it i might be wrong of that tag might start making gameplay and there was a bit of series with gameplay but nah all i'm seeing is demon slay game update and demon slay game guides like i started to give him a high b you know what i'm saying like nothing of that will interest me just 
obviously Demi Slay game update Demi Slay game the guys like so consistency six, uh, 5 7 out of 10 quality 6 out of 10 and creativity 6 out of 10 that's have to give tag a high B but tag is overall a very good youtuber with very good energy in his videos so yeah. hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to tell us with the small youtubers in the Demi Slayer game community then obviously leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments down below and obviously if you want to watch this video watch it and other than that I will see you guys very soon. Make sure you guys stay blessed. Have a nice day.